Hi, this is Muho again in English. One question that people ask me frequently is how do I deal with pain, especially with pain during the Zen. Um, if you sit for long intervals and sometimes in a place like Antaiji you sit for five days from morning to night, of course not non-stop you get up and uh, do walking meditation for maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes, but then you sit again for 45 minutes. So if you sit for long times, you will experience pain. Um, what do you do about that pain? How do you deal with it? Um, well, first of all, Dogen recommends to sit in either full or half lotus posture. And sometimes people get quite attached to that and they think that they must sit in either full or half lotus, otherwise it's not real Zazen. But not everybody can sit in the full or half lotus posture. So if it's impossible for you, uh, do not inflict physical damage uh, on yourself by trying to sit in a posture that is not possible for you yet. Maybe over the years your legs will become more flexible and even if you cannot sit in full or half lotus in the beginning, over time it might get easier for you. If you cannot do uh, sit in lotus posture, you can try the so-called Burmese posture where your knees and also the feet rest on the floor. That means you don't put the feet up on the thighs. Or you can also use a Caesar bench that makes it easier to kneel, to sit in a kneeling posture. And if even that is impossible for you, you can also sit on a chair. Some people do that, others do not recommend it. But uh, if that's uh, the only way for you that it is possible to sit in Zazen, it's also possible to sit on a chair. But what you will experience is that Either, even, even when you sit on a bench or if you sit on a chair, you will eventually be experience pain. Mm -hmm. uh, your buttocks uh, will hurt, your lower back will hurt and you will ask yourself, what am I doing here? You want to get up and get out, even on the chair. So at one point you have to face the fact that you're gonna experience pain this way or the other. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Um, so if you have no reason to really suspect that uh, I'm doing really permanent damage on myself, I'm inflicting permanent damage on myself, then... Um, I would say don't deal with the pain, but rather allow the pain to remind you that there are certain things in life that you cannot deal with. We always want to be in the position of the dealer. We want to deal with life. We want to deal with the world. We want to deal with pain. Um, but you cannot deal with pain. You cannot deal with life. You cannot deal with Zazen. So pain is a reminder of that, that the only thing you can do when you're confronted with pain is succumb, give up to the pain. So um, don't try to avoid the pain, don't try to run away from the pain. That's what we do when we say, oh, maybe I should shift a little uh, try a different posture. So you move around on the cushion and even on the chair, you start to move around on the chair. You don't want to allow the pain to <clears throat> teach you that there's no way to deal with the reality of life. You want to avoid it. Or you t try to fight yourself through it. You grind your teeth and try to prove yourself. And maybe it even works for a period of Sazen or two. You get to the end. Finally, the bell rings and you say, wow, I did it. I did it and I didn't move. 
and um, maybe it even works for several years and you become a, ma become a master in sitting motionlessly in full lotus, but um, that's not the point of Zazen either, to prove yourself by uh, fighting through the pain. It's rather that you allow the pain to swallow you up. You succumb to the pain by neither fighting against it nor by trying to avoid it. You don't flee and you don't fight. You just allow the pain to be there. And maybe what you're gonna realize uh, the moment you succumb to the pain it hurts much less. There's still the pain but this me that until a second ago said I have to do something about the pain. I have to deal with the pain. The me drops away. Until that moment you try to eliminate the pain. You try to <clears throat> negate the pain. But then you realize you can't do it. You allow the pain to be there and what gets eliminated, what drops away is the me that try to somehow <clears throat> either flee or fight against pain. Mm. So my answer to the question how do I deal with pain is don't deal with pain at all. Give up that idea that you can deal with pain. You cannot deal with pain. You cannot deal with life. You cannot deal with Zazen. You cannot deal with Buddha. The only thing you can do is succumb. And for me that's, that's the point of Zazen, to allow Zazen to do Zazen. Unless you do that, it's only you that's doing Zazen. But who is interested in you doing Zazen? So, Zazen is not about inflicting pain on yourself, but I think that pain can be a helpful, a helpful path, a helpful element on the way. And I doubt uh, that any, practitioners, any practitioner has really uh, practiced this way without experiencing, confronting and succumbing to a good amount of pain. Okay, thank you for watching. See you again. Bye.